Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. I am your host, it's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends. This is Blake. Hello. This is Shay. Hello. And this is Ben. Hi. And we're brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST at checkout, and you will get yourself a discount and show your support for the show. We start off every single game by talking about the worst possible thing that our deck can do to each other, hence the name of the show. And today, I am playing the Archimandrite. This is a commander that kind of snuck out here. It's Jeskai colors, red and blue and white, and it's an 05. And whenever I have more than four cards in my hand at the beginning of my upkeep, I gain one life for each of those cards over four. Whenever I gain life, all of my advisors, artificers, and monks get vigilance and plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the amount of life I gained. And then I can tap three advisors, artificers, and or monks to draw a card. So I have a tribal themed deck with a little bit of a card draw payoff, which is very CGB like. And the worst possible thing I will do to all of you is play Illusions of Grandeur, a four mana enchantment that says when it enters the battlefield, I gain 20 life. So I'll give all my creatures plus 20 plus so. Mm -mm and no. punch you with them. No. And it's gonna be really good. And if I have Alhamrat's Archive, which says if I would gain life, I gain double that life, I'll hit you even harder. 40, 40 per swinger, no. per creature. No, no thanks. That's my kind of uh, tribal synergy, so I'm into it. Uh, Blake, what have you brought for us this week? I brought a classic. I brought Yuriko the Tiger Shadow. So I'm playing ninjas today, it's gonna be great. Uh, Yuriko says it has Commander Ninjutsu, so I can pay a black and a blue, and I can replace a unblocked creature with this one and return the unblocked creature to my hand. Uh, Yuriko says whenever a ninja you control deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. Each opponent loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Which is pretty good with cards like Temporal Trespass, which is an 11 mana card that has Delve and allows me to take an extra turn after this time one, which is pretty good. So hopefully I'm gonna get some ninjas and I'm gonna use them to kill my friends. I hope they hate you for extra turns as much as they hate it when I do it. Please don't. Yes, please do. <laughs> please do. I love you guys. Please do. Okay. By the way, the reason we say the worst possible thing in the intro is so that you can just turn this off if you don't wanna see it. Or just leave your snarky comment now, whatever. We don't care. No, we're, we're yeah, point at, we don't care. Point, point, at point, me. point at him. But be nice. Don't, don't bother. I'm so honest. <laughs> Shay, what have you brought this week? Oh yes, hello. Uh, I have brought Arcades the Strategist. So Arcades is a 3-5 with flying and vigilance. Whenever a creature with defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Each creature you control with defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it didn't have defender. So this is a walls themed deck. And for my worst possible thing, Ironically, not walls out here. Uh, but first I've got Legion Loyalty, which is an enchantment and it says creatures you control have Myriad. Also, I've got Tesuko. Um, we're gonna leave it Umizawa's at Tesuko. Umizawa's Fugitive. Thank you very much. Um, and it says that creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less can be blocked. I've got that. Is that a ninja? <laughs> It's a rogue. human rogue. Ah, oh, a rogue, okay. Yes. So, all right, so you two are all kinds of weird sneaky. And you have walls that you're gonna give Myriad so that they attack even more. So exactly. That's okay, that, that's, that's crazy, that's madness. I'm excited to see how that pans out. Ben, what have you brought with us and what's your worst possible? Okay, so today I have Zada. He's a goblin and it is a goblin deck, but his cool ability is whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only him, I can copy it for each other creature I control that it could target. And I can choose different targets, or each of those spells targets a different one. So I can't target like one multiple times. Anyway, but, so I got a bunch of one drop spells, instances and sorceries, obviously, that target it, and it targets all my goblins. So you're gonna target all your goblins with all those? Yes, all 19 of them, and yes, this is a creature, but it is Blood Rush, okay? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Do you also have goblins in your deck, or is it just all pump spells and Z Zada? No, it is goblin tribal. I think I have three non-goblin creatures. Okay, so we've all got kind of tribal themey decks. Ben, for the show me the thumbnail goblin face. I, I don't know. I just, I've done that one like a couple of times. Though. I, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> 
he just has this on demand. You know, oh, you yeah, can just dude. walk in and run into that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the way he's doing it, I don't know what that That's is. That's more of a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was more of a zombie. But, but Ben's just got it. He's just got the goblin face. The, the missing tooth helps, you know. <laughs> Right. All right, guys. Well, uh, this looks to be an exciting kind of tribal four-way battle royale. So let's dive in. Let this worst possible nonsense begin. We've shuffled up. Shay has won the die roll. Take it away, Shay. Okay. Draw. Forest and pass. Yep. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a mountain. And I'll also pass. Draw for turn. I'm gonna make you all think I had an identity crisis. Welcome to 2023. It's a new Covert Go Blue. Monastery Swift Spear, attack Ben the Red Mage for one. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo. My toe into Swift Spear. Who is this guy? <laughs> Your turn. All right. I'm going to crack a Bloodstained Mire. All right, I got an Underground Sea. Ooh. And I'm going to cast Slither Blade, which is a 1 2 unblockable. Go ahead, Shay. Nothing to see here. I will play Hinterland Hava. I'll tap two for a wall of junk. <laughs> <laughs> Good wall. <laughs> um, whenever wall of junk blocks, return it to its owner's hand at the end of combat. Uh, well, now I pass to you, Ben. Okay. I'll play a mountain. I will tap two for a goblin engineer. When I use a battlefield, I search my library for an artifact card. Put in my graveyard, then shuffle, and I can pay one tap and sacrifice an artifact to return an artifact with a converted man cost three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. I'll put Soul Ring into my graveyard. Into the graveyard, right where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, CGB. All right, uh, untap, draw. Play a Sea of Clouds, and I'm going to cast Thought Vessel, and I'm going to trigger Prowess on Monastery Swift Spear, and I'm going to attack Blake with a 2-3. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, you should be afraid. I'm scared. You should be afraid of me being an aggro mage. Your turn. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if I can repay the favor, maybe. I'm gonna play a swamp. I'm gonna move to combat. CGB, Yo. I'm gonna attack you for one. Oh no, I don't block. Well, guess what I'm gonna do? Ninjutsu? I'm gonna ninjutsu Yuriko in, returning Slither Blade to my hand, and it's gonna deal you one damage. Oh no, a damage. But. I'm gonna reveal the top card, and everyone's gonna take one from a miscloaked. Oh no! Oh no! Another one. Mm. Oops, that was a gain. <laughs> <laughs> and this is awkward because now I have to discard the hand size. Yeah, <laughs> taste it. See, if you had my thought vessel, <laughs> if you played my thought vessel instead of Yuriko Ninjutsu triggering, you wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> because the set decision paralysis is a thing. Decision fatigue. I'm going to discard a Baleful Strix. You're not going to be able to make good decisions later in the game if you have to make too many decisions now. That's a thing. That's real. <laughs> Shay, take your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw. Play Bountiful Promenade. And three for Wall of Denial. It's got Ooh. Defender and Flying. It's an 08 and it has Shroud. What? An 08? Yeah. Flyer Shroud. How are we supposed to attack? I know. Never. Uh, maybe if we had unblockable creatures. <laughs> I'll talk to my guys. Uh, well, I will pass to you, Ben. Okay. I'll untap, draw a card. Play a Looming Spires. It enters the battlefield tap, but when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets 1-1 one, one and gains first strike until end of turn. Then I'll go to combat. I'll swing at Blake for two with Yo. first strike. <laughs> Yo! Ninjas make enemies. They do. Wow. Know, they're sneaky. They're, they're going to get me later. They're so. also less cool than pirates, but... Okay. <laughs> I'll tap two and play a Goblin Diplomat. Uh, it's a 2-1, and I tap him. Each creature attacks this turn if able. What? Yeah. What? Like a goat on a stick? Pretty much. Yeah. Never heard of this card. 
Yeah. But they can still attack him. Okay. Go ahead. I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I'll play an island. Then I'm going to tap four. I'm going to cast Whirlwind of Thought Triggering Prowess. This is an enchantment that says whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I draw a card. And uh, because I don't want to be an easy Yuriko trigger, my 2-3 Monastery Swift Spear is going to act more CGB-like and stay home. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Scared ya. I'm going to play Sunken Ruins. I'm going to pay two for a Mind Stone. I'm going to tap that Mind Stone for a Sensei's Divining Top. Oh no. Which you can be. good. <laughs> oh, it is good. For you, yeah. <laughs> um, Benny Bear. I will attack you for one. Can you, can you pick a different name for me? <laughs> Benifer. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> for one? You sure it's one? Just one. Well, no, it's not. Because everyone's going to take zero. <laughs> Let's go. Heck yeah. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Second nice. main phase, I'll play a Miscloaked Herald, which is a 1-1 one, one unblockable that I revealed to Yuriko last time. Shay, your turn. Was really hoping for a land, but that's okay, because I'm going to play another wall. It's Hover Barrier. Defender, flying, 06. I can't see Shay over all those walls <laughs> flying around her. Yeah, like, right? why do they fly? I don't... Because <laughs> they're hovering, dude. Okay. They're super helpful. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Pass to you, Ben. I'll play a mountain for turn. I'm going to tap four to play Zada. Commander. Commander is out. I'm going to then play a Mox Amber. Ooh. I'm going to tap Mox Amber for a Faithless Looting. I'm going to discard Experimental Frenzy and Daring Escape. Experimental Ooh. Frenzy? Daring Escape? Oh, my God. I'll just pass. Okay, my turn. Untap. I'll draw for turn. And tap two. And cast Lightning Greaves. This is a trigger for one Wind of Thought to draw a card, and a trigger for Monastery Swift Spear for plus one plus one from Prowess. Draw for turn. Or for Whirlwind. Then I'll shotgun in a Sacred Foundry, going to 36. I'll tap three. I'm going to cast. Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest. This is a 3-2 prowess human monk, and whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I may pay hybrid red-white, red-white. If I do, target creature gains double strike until end of turn. So if that enters the battlefield, I'm going to activate Lightning Greaves, move it to Shu Yun. Uh, yeah, I think a 2-3 prowess needs to get a little frisky with the ninjas. So coming at you, Blake. Put them up. All right, fair enough. And after that, I'm done. I'll play a Castle Vantress. Did you know that enters untapped because you have an underground sea? I know. Because dude. it has a type. <laughs> That's great. Those types are worth about, you know, $700 each. Yeah. $350 a piece, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move to combat. Uh huh. Shay? Mm -hmm. I will attack you for one on Blackle. This is Mission Impossible. The Merfolk has to get around <laughs> all these walls. I know. Just... <laughs> yeah. He's in a maze. Well, since I can't block, I won't. Perfect. Uh, before we go to blocks, so I'm going to use Sensei's Divining Top, put them in that order, and then, lo and behold, I'm going to spend four for a Fallen Shinobi. Oh my gosh. So, this is now going to attack CGB. What? You can change <laughs> attackers? Yup. That's shenanigans. That's what I was told. Uh, I mean, okay. So you'll take five? Yeah, I'll take five. Cool. We're going to do two triggers. First off, Yuriko is going to flip. Sakashima's student, which uh, lets me ninjutsu it in and have it be a copy of anything on the battlefield, uh, except it's a ninja. But right now it just goes to your hand. Yep, and deals four damage to everybody. Okay. Uh, great, guys. You see the problem here. Yeah, that's why I've been attacking. And then, <laughs> CGB, you exile the top two and I get to cast one for free. All right, let's see how good the top of my deck is. We got Joyra, Weatherlight Ooh, Captain. That ain't bad. And we have Teferi's Protection. Oh my god. Well, that's not as good. I mean, is it? Like, being phased out that's till the next true, turn, actually. we can't Which hurt one you. Which does Joyra do? Is this the... Yeah, that's the... So, Joyra... We one. Yeah, Joyra Weatherlight Captain says whenever you cast a historic spell, you draw a card. But you don't really cast your spells. You ninjutsu no. them. Yeah. I'll see you guys next turn cycle. <laughs> oh, you're leaving. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, everybody wave bye to Blake. 
I'm gonna ninja my way out of here. Boop, 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 boop. Wow. So I guess it's my turn now. We'll pay two for a wall of tangle cord. Pay a green, wall of tangle cord gains reach until end of turn. It's a zero six. Defender. <laughs> to, to go with those flyers, you, yeah. you <laughs> can now have a reach wall. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Ooh, yes, that's it for me. Your turn, Ben. Yeah. Okay. Play a mountain for turn. Well, let's just do this, shall we? I'm gonna tap one and play Fervent Strike targeting Zada. Uh-oh. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and gains first strike and haste until end of turn. I really wish you were here to see this. I can't hear you, I'm not here. <laughs> okay, so they all gain first strike and haste until end of turn, and a plus oh one, plus zero. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have a response. I'm going to tap another one to play Crimson Wisps, target Targeting Zada, target creature becomes red and gains haste until end turn. Draw a card. Wow. So I draw three cards because bam, the target's bam, bam. off. Oh. They're all red. As Unbelievable. Result, yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not <laughs> do, you wanna, do you want to counter a one man as well? Okay, I'll go to combat. Do you like bumping into walls, maybe? Not particularly. Oh, goblins. Sad. Goblins like walls. They protect them, but they still can get out of them and attack them. Right, I'm going to... All out attack, CGB. Oh, big surprise. All right, so this has two power first strike, yep. and this has three power first strike, and this has four power first strike. Yep. So I take nine, four, three, two, nine. Yep. All right, I'll take the nine. Then I am done after that. Oh boy, uh, Blake, I really wish you were here yeah, for this combat. If I was combat. here, I'd be worried. <laughs> I would have been worried. Oh my goodness. Uh, untap, draw. All right, I need my commander. We're gonna bring out the Archimandrite, and I'm going to attempt to move Lightning Greaves over to my commander. And if that all is fine, I'm done. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Hey guys, how was the <laughs> CGB, how was your turn cycle? You know, just just here fighting the good fight against the Zada Horde. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play a Dark Water Catacombs, and I am going to use Sensei's Divining Top to look at the top three. Gonna move to combat. Ben, you attacked my friend. I, I did? Yep. He was attacking you though. He was trying to kill no, you. No, just... there's been a mistake. He attacked me. Oh, you, you attacked? <laughs> yeah. I thought you attacked Shay. Okay. Not, not I wasn't here. It you wasn't were... your friend. You realized I wasn't here. It wasn't so your friend. I heard the grapevine. All right. Ben, I will attack you with both. How big is the opponent you know? A 5 4. Do oh, something, right. Ben. Tell me you left a blocker or have a plan for the ninjas, Ben. Sure don't. <laughs> Take six. Take six, okay. And I'm gonna do some triggers. So the first one, the first of the Yuriko triggers is gonna flip a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Everyone's gonna take four. Uh... The second one is gonna flip an island. Just take, just the, just the zero. <laughs> just the zero. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll do it. There we go. And then you exile the top two and I get to cast one for free. Oh exile I need Man of Vault. Ever-flowing chalice. That was so terrible. <laughs> Give me your mana vault, okay, nerd. Okay. Give it to me. Three mana exactly for free. I'll terrible. Take it. Yeah, terrible. No, that wasn't yeah, the worst. Was. This guy ripped up a black lotus when he was a kid, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. I will tap the mana vault. <laughs> and I will use one of it for sunken ruins to make two blue. I will spend one of the two blue on Slither Blade. And I will spend the second of the two blue on Miscloaked Herald. Still have two colorless floating. I'm gonna spend the two colorless on an ever-flowing chalice because I don't need your ever-flowing chalice. Oh man. Okay, yo. <laughs> yo. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. For Chase the Mind Sculptor? <laughs> okay. Is it a question? <laughs> no, it's some excitement. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to use the zero on Jace to brainstorm. All right. It wasn't a land. Oh no. All right. Pay in two for a wall of mulch. Okay. These walls. Perfect. Endless. Um, I can pay a green to sacrifice a wall and draw a card. All right, I'm gonna do this now, I suppose. We'll pay a green and I'm gonna use the wall of mulch's ability to sacrifice my wall of tangle cord. Draw a card. No. All right. Pass to you, Ben. Okay. 
I'll untap. Draw for turn. Play a, I know, it's kind of funny, in a one color deck, but Command Tower. <laughs> Why not? It's it's a mountain, but Why? it can tap for different colors if you... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and tap five to play a double vision. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good no, at all. No, no response. That's resolved, uh, guys. So double vision, read. Yes. Uh, whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Oh, but I won't. Okay. You're so handsome. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tap one. I'm gonna play Brute Force, targeting Zada, plus three, plus three until end of turn. Oh. Which it copies okay. it. So it's oh plus six, God. plus six on all three of my creatures. Okay. Uh, yeah, plus yeah. six, plus six, let's go. Yeah. You gotta love Ben with the instant, you know, in his main face, just <laughs> to absolutely just to make everybody sweat. Up. That's a good point, actually. I didn't even notice. Ben, I won't, uh, if you don't attack me, I won't attack you. I attacked you last turn, CGB. I, and you're not yeah. gaining life very yeah, much. I'm yeah. not, I, I'm Shay basically can't block dead. very well. Your dudes are big. Shay's getting lands. Yeah, don't attack That's Shay. That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> so attack Ben. Attack or myself? Yeah. Hey, I could make him attack me. No. <laughs> Blake, I'm attacking you. With brute with, force. With the goblin diplomats and the goblin engineer and Zada. All three of them. So how much is that? Uh, uh, nine, uh, 17, oh wait, no. Yeah. No, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And 20, 24. It's just 24, bro. Just 24, you can take it. See, you have more than that. You have 33, Blake. You also have chump blockers. Yeah, those chump yeah, blockers that I'm gonna are block. very pesky. All right, I'm going to throw, you know what? The Merfolk did good for me. So I'm going to throw a Slither Blade in front. Stats. I strictly know, nope, wrong. Strictly, strictly right. The Merfolk's my friend. So I take what? A hundred? You blocked Zada? Yeah. So you take 15. Oh, that's what I said. A casual 15. And that is my turn. I'm going to draw a card with my Archimandrite. Archimandrite? 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 I don't know. Untap. I've got an upkeep trigger. I have five cards in hand, so I'm going to gain one life through the Archimandrite. And it gives plus one plus O to all of my creatures and vigilance until end of turn. So, boom, that happens. Draw for turn. Ben, you have no blockers? I have absolutely no blockers. <laughs> I only attack. That's what red does. Good to know. Yeah, is that a problem? It could be for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Or> shoot. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to play Mutavolts as my land for turn. And then we're going to cast Jessica's Will. And I have my commander, so I get both modes. I'm going to make six red mana because Shay has six cards in hand. Whoa. I'm going to exile my top three, and I can play them this turn. I'm going to activate Prowess on Monastery Swift Spear. And, oh yeah, also on uh, the Shu Yun. So they both have Prowess. So I also have a trigger from Whirlwind of Thought to draw a card. So draw a card. Make six red mana. Boom. Like, like that. And then exile three. Glenn, the Voice of Calm. Forbidden Orchard and Training Center. Good. I don't think I'm going to use any of those. I'm going to use a six red in my mana pool and one more and then two white. And I'm going to cast Heliod's Intervention targeting myself for X equals seven. Target player gains twice X life. Gain 14 life. I'm going to draw a card from Whirlwind of Thought. I'm going to trigger prowess on these two. I'm going to gain 14, and I'm going to give my team plus 14 plus 0, up to a total of plus 15 plus 0 in Vigilance. Uh, I think I see my problem now. <laughs> All right, the 20 power Shuyun Silent Tempest is going to attack Blake, and the Monastery Swift Spear and Archimandrite are going to attack Ben. No, no. <laughs> so, coming at you for a total of... 18, and then another 18. So, 36 to Ben. And oh, if you wow. take this one, Blake, you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, I'm blocking. Yeah, that's a good choice. 
I thought just taking out your friend would probably be lethal enough yeah. emotionally. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. He was my buddy. That one toughness didn't save me. I have no blocks and no response. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> nah. I have a blood feud with the goblins. Yeah, that's fair. That's wow. fair. Wow. <laughs> nah. And now, Blake, it's your turn. Yeah, at your end step, I'm going to use Sensei's Divining Top. Put him back like that. And I will untap. I will untap everything but the Mana Vault, and it will deal me one damage. You spend two. So you better be cool next turn, okay? Actually, you can't kill me next turn if I don't mess with your board and or, you know, disrupt you. Because I know if you play Archimedes, you can just one-shot me, so. Um, yes, fair enough. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna Infernal Grasp, shun you. Uh, yep. And I'll take two. I will take two. You take two, yep, pay two. Yeah, that'd be way good. Uh, yeah, right. let's see, oh, I might have a response. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, this will die. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm going to spend two more, and I'm gonna go for the throat. Monastery Swift Spear. Uh-huh. All right, spot removal, let's go. Spot removal. I'm then gonna brainstorm a Jace. So I'm gonna draw three and put two on top. I'm going to move to combat. CGB, I will attack you with both. With both? Of my creatures, yep. Um, okay, I'll block your echo. You know what? Why brainstorm with Jace when you can brainstorm with a brainstorm? There you go. This was the first gift CGB ever gave me was this brainstorm. Thanks, CGB. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, it's feeling like a gift right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to put, you know, the exact same two cards back. And then I'm going to sense the divine. I'm looking for something good. I'm looking for something good, and I just can't find it. Yeah, it's too gotta bad. try. Gotta try. All right, so you will take five. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll flip a Reno. Thirst for knowledge. Okay. So everyone's gonna take three now. Okay. And then I will get a. <laughs> oh, and then I will get a fallen Shinobi trigger. So you exile the top two, and I can cast one. Curse of verbosity. Arid Mesa. Jeez, oh Pete's. What's this one do? Well, you enchant a player, and then whenever a player attacks that player, you draw a card, and the attacking player draws a card. Oh wow. That seems good. CGB, I'll just leave this on your board because I'm going to cast it on you. You're going to curse me? Yeah. Okay. I'm cursed. I'm cursed. Get cursed. Curse him with his own curse. Wow. Get cursed. I've been personally cursed by my curse. <laughs> Personally? All right. Um, and then that's going to pass the turn. Very important draw. Okay. Face. That's land. Shea face. <laughs> yeah. Island. I haven't seen that one. You really shouldn't kill me, because I'm the <laughs> only one who can take care of him, Wait. and he can get past your walls. Why would you not? He can get past my walls, but only with unblockables. Which, how many of those do I have? Currently none. Mm. Interesting. We're tapping four. Arcades has entered the chat. <laughs> hey, Arcades. Finally. It's here. Welcome. Took his freaking time. Okay. Okay, move to combat. Wall of Mulch goes to Jace. The rest of these three will go to CGB. So this is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll actually question here. It says Wall of Junk, but on the card it doesn't actually say Wall. Oh, that's an errata. To, yeah, I'm sure yeah. that's an errata. I'm sure it's a wall. Okay. Yeah, spiritually, that's a wall. Spir <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we'll count it then. Yeah, I, we don't need to look that up. That just is. It has to. It wouldn't be in the deck if it weren't. Beautiful. All right, you guys both draw from the curse. I have to block or I die, so I'm blocking the wall of junk, which is going to deal seven to my poor commander, who, after having a, a flash of glory, heads to the command zone. And I take 14? Mm-hmm. Uh, seven, yeah. Okay, I'm at seven. And Jay's got straight bonked. Later, Gator. Um, go to end step. Pass. I've seen CGB win with less, so I'm still a little you nervous. You win at one in one of our resources. Well, less resources. I love it when they're still afraid. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like about to die, and they're like, oh, CGB is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, um, let's kick this off, shall we? Swords to Plowshares on Arcades. I'll draw a card. Yeah. 
I liked your walls better when they didn't attack. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do gain three life. How do I attack myself to draw a card? <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Uh, keeping me alive. That's what you do. Oh, oops. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right, tap three. Play an oldie but goodie Mantis Rider. 3-3 three, three, Flying Vigilance Haste. We're going to see if we can add Shroud and Double Haste to that mix with the Lightning Greaves. Blake, take three. All right. Three it is. Then I'm done. I will take one to my Mana Vault. All right, I'm going to start by topping. I'm going to spend two for Tetsuko, Umazawa's Fugitive. Creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. CGP, we might have to work together on this. Why? I can't kill her. She's at 31. But you're probably going to kill me. I don't want to. Problem. Are you if sure? We need, if I need, if we need, if I need you to kill Shay. I do you. I mean, she, you can get I her under walls. I guess she can't cast her commander next turn. Correct. No, then never mind. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to combat. I will attack both at Shay. No blocks. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to start by triggering Yuriko twice. The first card I flip is Silent Blade Oni, which is uh, seven cost and deals seven to everybody. Convenient. Uh, uh, I will <laughs> die. <laughs> you take seven as well, Shay, in case you, I hate you weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will flip another one, just a Triton Shore Stalker, so you only take one now. Um, and then you will take five more and flip the top two, and I get to cast one for free. I'll <laughs> take... <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> so that's the walk. The walking bulwark. I'm gonna play a morphic pool for turn. I'm gonna spend one on Triton. My morphic pool enters tapped. Then take it back. No, I'm yeah. not taking it back. I'm I'll just take, gonna pay it with well, Castle Vantry. Yeah, there you go. I'm not, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Why is your morphic pool enter tapped, Blake? Yeah. I killed my friend. Because <laughs> it's two or more opponents, isn't it? Sure is. Correct. Yeah. Bummer. Um, <laughs> Not one or more. Go ahead, Shay. That's my mana vault. Oh, get yep. that off the yep. field. I guess I should have gained one life. Because ben, yep. uh, ben should have taken his mana vault with him when he died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember to pick up your own cards <laughs> from the opponent's battlefield when you're out. Because I'll keep them. <laughs> two, four, and Azoria Signet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna skip combat with my walls. Move to end step, pass to you. All right, on your end step, I will cast a Thirst for Knowledge. So I will draw three and discard two unless I discard an artifact. Gonna discard Polluted Delta and cast a Lock Flame. Go to my untap step. Gonna move to combat. I'm gonna attack Shay with three unblockable creatures. All right, I have a response. Uh, pay two for a Cyclonic Rift. Targeting your Tetsuko. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go look for something to respond. So I'm gonna start by sacrificing Mindstone to draw a card. I'm gonna play a Vampiric Tutor. You. You've countered me in response to trying to uh, stop you from winning one too many times. So I'm gonna tap Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card. Yes. I'm gonna put this on top. Yes. And I'm gonna Force of Will that's exiling Moon Circuit Hacker. So you had to pay two life for your Vampiric Tutor? Yep. You have to pay one life for your Force of Will. For the Force of Will. Well. All well right. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. And then uh, with no blocks, I assume, I'm going to spend two for Sakashima Student. And this will enter in replace of Tetsuko as a copy of Fallen Shinobi. So this is going to deal five, six, seven. All right, so Shay, you're going to take five, six, seven. Okay. And we're just hoping for fun, fun flips here. I know the first one's bad, Sensei's Divine Top. You take one. Beep. And then, Scalding Tarn, you'll take zero. <laughs> and then you get to exile the top two, and I get to play one for free. <laughs> heroic Intervention. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Overgrown Farmland. Uh, I'm going to cast a Heroic Intervention. <laughs> Ta-da! Indestructible. Heroic. Thank you. Well, kind of just have to hope you don't draw a Lance Mana Source, don't I? All right, Jay. I'm going to play a Sensei's Divining Top. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to look at the top three of Sensei's Divining Top and look for something. I'm going to tap Sensei's Divining Top. I'm going to draw this card. 
I'm gonna spend three and exile eight cards from my graveyard. And I'm gonna cast Temporal Trespass. Take an extra turn after this one. No! <laughs> this feels great. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna play a land. Gonna do this quick. Sensei's Divining Top. I'm going to look at the top three. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna put Tetsuko back out. All right, I'm gonna play a Scalding Tarn for turn. I'm gonna crack it. Just getting a fresh lease on life on the top of my deck. I'm just gonna get an island. All right, I'm gonna spend three to use Sensei's Divining Top to look at the top three. Spend one to look at the top three? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use Sensei's Divining Top. I'm gonna draw the top card of my deck. I'm going to spend one black, and I'm going to cast Scheming Symmetry. Shay, I will choose you mm -hmm. and myself. We both get to put a card on top of our library. All right, we both have put a card on top of our library. I'm going to move to combat, Shay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two to make Walking bul Bulwark have uh, haste and lose defender. It's still a zero power creature, but it deals damage equal to its toughness. So I'm going to kill you with your own medicine. So I'm going to attack you with all three of these. So you're going to take one, two, three, four, five. And because Yuriko does, a da does damage, I get to flip a Temporal Mastery, dealing seven more. That does it. <laughs> mission impossible. Mission, uh, done, done, mission, done, mission done, difficult. Done, you done, scaled done, the wall. I know. <laughs> Jeez, oh, <Pete. laughs> oh, man. Let's go, ninjas. Nice. This deck was sweet. Um, the ninjas did it. Yeah, they sweet. did it. That was awesome. Yeah, nice job. You repelled in from like the lines and through yeah, the laser yeah, field dude. and into the motion activated oh. chamber and took out the wall, gamer. All right, uh, let's find our cards of the game. And we are back for the post game wrap and the cool stuff inc.com card of the game. Remember to use the promo code WORST at checkout to show support for the show and to get a discount. So, cool stuff inc.com card of the game number one for CGB Heliod's Intervention. Instant speed gain twice X life, providing a mega buff from the Archimandite, causing the first casualty of the game. So, <laughs> uh, as an aggro mage, I think you're just supposed to enjoy taking someone. Out. Yeah. That's so enough. I'm supposed to be filled with all kinds of just Heliod vibes and <laughs> just, I feel great. I did take Ben out. The goblins were thwarted. They did not kill anyone in this match. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so sad. Yeah. So I guess I did my part. Blake, today's champion, what is your coolstuffing.com card of the game? Mine is Walking Bulwark. It was really fun to kill Shay with a creature that had zero power when she was playing a zero power deck. Feels good, man. I feel like he's trying to do the content pick because he played Jace, he played Force of Will, <laughs> he played Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, you played Force of Will, like your favorite card in the magic. You played Temporal Master. I don't know, Walking Bulwark Trespass. is now really tied for my favorite card oh with Force God, of Will. No They're way. up there. Get your Walking Bulwarks now at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs> Promo code worse for a 5% discount. That should bring it down to about, you know, 10 cents. <laughs> don't quote me on that. I don't know. <laughs> Shay, what is your card of the game? Okay, my card is a little silly, but I was definitely the happiest to see it out of all my cards today. It was this <laughs> island that was my fourth land for turn that allowed me to play my commander, which allowed my walls to attack people. Yeah, they got right in that particular red zone on that particular turn. I, I've never been so unhappy to see an island in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, Ben, how about you, Gabo? What is your card of the game? Oh, man. Double vision, of course. I was I drew that, I think, that turn, and I had the, uh, what was it, brute force in my hand, and I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah, the, that pop-off scared me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had to, we, yeah. I had to kill him. Yes. It was yeah. too scary. <laughs> I like how you said we, but it was all you. It was, I yeah, did okay. not. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I didn't give you guys a chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, man, just another classic worst possible full of, I, I think everybody did the thing at least for one turn. You got yeah. to do the thing for a few more turns. Ben loves to tap out, and I love Ben for tapping out. <laughs> That's my point. Even my creatures. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
Thank you for watching this episode of The Worst Possible Commander Show. Remember to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. You stayed till the end. That is the best thing you can do. So on behalf of Blake and Shay and Ben, it's me, it's CGB. Thank you very much. You're cool.